guys as a whole, what do you take away from this and that you could take going forward here? I think that we uh, leaned into our defense. We did a great job in the first quarter. And it translated to our second quarter. We hit some more shots. Um, I, I like the flow of the game that was going for us early on. Um, I think we did a great job tonight. I think we really pushed the pace. We uh, made things happen. Um, and consistently, our discipline was there. Your matchup against Valanciunas uh, is always a is always a tough one, physical one. Uh, how would you want to attack him tonight, or just attack this team in general? I ain't gonna lie to you. I had a lot of coffee before the game, so I just trying to go downhill most of the game. <laughs> There's a lot of caffeine in me, so uh, I wasn't really trying to look to shoot the ball more. I was more looking to get downhill and try to use some good legs I had and um, just the caffeine, I guess you could say. And uh, I told the refs and everyone, I said I'm going downhill first couple of times of the game because I got too much energy right now to expend. Is it a different kind of coffee or just more? Coffee? Shout out New Orleans, man. I forgot the place. I think it's Perks or Peaks or something, but it got me right. <laughs> it got me right. What's, do you, what's the, what do you think the biggest difference is uh, defensively between last season and this season for you guys so far? I just think that is a consistent discipline by us. Um, I think that also we, we uh, we lean into each other on defense. I think we have a good communication. We got a good feel for each other on the court. I mean, it also helps to have Vando. You know, we have a first team defender in Vando, and also another first team defender in Patrick Beverly, who's also done it. Vando's about to do it. So, when you have those kind of people on the floor, I mean, it, it makes the defense much easier, and it gives it takes a lot of pressure off. And I love our scheme, and I also think that. Um, we take pride in it. I think that's the difference. We take a lot of pride in our defense because we understand that um, early on our offense really wasn't clicking. So we had to lean into our uh, our defense. Hey there, it's uh, Brett Martel with AP. Just wondering if you could, um, first of all, just discuss whether you think the, uh, the hustle stats were were kind of uh, exceptional with you know the the offensive rebounds, second chance points, as well as the turnovers and points off turnovers. Um, to what extent is that? Are those stats, I guess, exemplifying the characteristics that you're developing as a team? Yeah, I think um, it, it explains the discipline and the attention to detail we have because, you know, when you have someone like Valanchunas out there on the court, you know there's a possibility there's a lot of rebounds out there and he's going to fight for every single one of them. But for us to be great at sandwich rebounding tonight and to uh, really do a great job of limiting how many times they get second chance points, I mean, it speaks a lot because um, – when we lost to them before, it, you know, it, Valanciunas had a lot of second chance points, and we had to really try to calm that down if we wanted to have a chance to win tonight. And I think we did a great job of doing that. And then how do you put the four game win streak in perspective now? It ain't a five game win streak. So that's 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 the perspective. <laughs> we we haven't done enough. There's not there's nothing to celebrate at a four game winning streak. You know, we got a lot of games to go and. Uh, we got a lot of things we say we want to do, and it takes more than a four-game winning streak to get it done. So um, staying focused, staying focused on the prize at hand, staying focused on uh, what we want to do and our goals is going to be uh, huge for us uh, coming to the end of the season if, to see what the result is. We can go to Zoom. Jace, go ahead. Carl, when you do see more single coverage, is that almost a surprise at this point? For sure. <laughs> I was a little surprised. I think we also did a great job of putting me in positions where it just the double was very hard to to come, and I, I made quick moves and, and got to the basket. Um, it was one of those. It was just. It felt like a good night before. So uh, I think that was also the caffeine, but it also helped to feeling good. Has that been an adjustment? Uh, it seemed like in the past you would almost like you know the, the double teams have been so constant that it seemed like you're almost waiting for them. Uh, and now, like, the way you've been attacking quickly, how much of a difference has that made for you? Maybe I'm simplifying the game. Yeah, I just think that um, – wow, that was loud. Um, yeah, it, I think it's just something different. I think I'm putting myself in better positions not to get doubled. Um, I think that's really, the, at the end of the day, the real story. You know, getting the ball farther away um, from the block today was very helpful. was able to use my quickness to get to the basket. Um, getting the ball in the middle was also helpful for me as well, not to have the double team come. So, um, I'm figuring it out, so that's pretty scary. Do you, uh, how do you feel about the Eagles right now? Oh, no. Damn, that was tough. <laughs> that's rough. They're picking it up. I know, but geez. <laughs> but good, man. I support him through everything. You already know. So Jalen Hurts is my man. I, I love him at quarterback.
And don't don't get it twisted too. Mr. Slay is killing right now, and that's my <laughs> good Warzone buddy for Call of Duty. So I'm glad to talk to him about that. Thanks, so. We have time for a couple more. We'll go Britt and then Dane. Britt, go ahead. Yeah, Kat, um, you've talked about discipline a number of times in this conversation and saying you're figuring things out and everything. Uh, the way you sized up Valanchunas and, and played him tonight versus the last game where you played him, where a lot of times the refs seem to get to you and his uh, physicality, both extra legal and legal, was getting to you tonight. You just took it right to him. And I'm just wondering if that growth, that discipline and that figuring it out, uh, how conscious that's been and how much of it is just not being conscious of it and just being in a flow. I've seen enough games in a row now to know what the game will be played like, so I don't have time to worry about it. I just got to keep going downhill and being aggressive and, and uh, let the chips fall where they fall. You know, some days, you know, it's going to not be a 50% shooting night, but it's going to be an aggressive night. And it's going to, uh, I think the game will speak more than the stat sheet at that point. So just being more uh, downhill, not worrying about everything else that I can't control, but worrying what I can't control, give it the best chance at the rim, um, making my best move. Um, and also just shooting the ball with a lot of confidence and um, letting the game speak for itself. It's all about the win. So um, I just think that the aggressiveness I had tonight really uh, started the energy we had in the early on in the game and it gave us a, a big boost when we just weren't shooting that well but when the shooting caught up uh, we saw the lead you know grow really well to 16 and we just took off from there we have time for two more we'll go Dane and then Leo Dane go ahead hey Carl uh last season you guys were last in the league in three-point defense this season you're first in the league in three-point defense what do you attribute that to this season a great coaching staff great plans and uh, players who are willing to sacrifice and uh, do whatever it takes to win. Um, we knew what we had to change to uh, win in this league and, and give ourselves a, a chance to win. And uh, even with our record being eight and nine, I think that we all looked at those nine losses. You could probably tell about seven of them where it was really close and we had the game. And I think I have to believe we'll have to be one of the worst teams. And then yeah, we had double digit leads at one point and we just never finished the game. We played a lot to lose, not to lose instead of to win. And I think that's what changed right now is that when we're getting these leads, we're we're still trying to win. We're still trying to put the put the points up and still trying to build the lead instead of trying to hold the lead. Um, I just think that for us as a team, we just done so much better job of understanding. You know, the game has changed. It's a, a lot about the three point shot, and if we can make it very difficult on opponents to make them, um, then we have a great chance every night. And at the same time, too, we hadn't shot the ball three, the three ball well at all tonight, and but we countered it by making them shoot worse than us. So that's a that's a testament to the defense. Last question, Leo, go ahead. Yeah, so you know, y'all have talked a little bit about, you know, Vando and what he brings out there. And so I want to ask you, you know, how are those practice battles with them, with someone that goes like so hard 100% of the time? Like, does it feel like it sharpens your skills, being able to go against someone that's like high motor all the time? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and it also gets you ready for the game. When you've been dealing with that kind of energy every practice, you come into the game, you're you're expecting someone like a Vando to be out there, but there's only one Vando in the league. So we're very fortunate to have him, but it also prepares us even better for the opponent because we're overprepared sometimes. And that's that's a great thing to be. So um, when you have in practices against, you know, Jared Vanderbilt and you're uh, playing against one of the best and the most energetic and most the best I don't know. How to, I want to say a garbage man, but one of the best hustle men in all of the NBA. Uh, you're more than prepared for the game, and when you're playing against these opponents that don't, that are not having a Vanderbilt on the back of their jersey, it's it makes it much much easier. Great, thank you, Carl. Have a safe trip home. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.